This is our house, and they say it's on fire. They say it is not a drill. Not the kind of fire that strikes in the middle of the night and can be put out by tucking it tight under unconsciousness and believing it's all part of the nightmare. Nor is it the kind of fire you imperceptibly smell and simply put out with the assumption it's only happening next door. They say this is a different kind of fire. Perhaps this is because if we stop to glance at it for just an instant, we will see our greed is dancing in the fire, yearning to be consumed, our connection to ourself, to one another, and to all of life is longing to be kindled again. The illusion of more and more forever is ready to burst into flames, and the story that this is it, this is just how the world works, is lighting itself out as alternatives to a world of not enough, of proverbial winners and losers are burning to be reignited. The reassurance that this has nothing to do with us, that rather those people are the problem, is bound to disintegrate. And our fear wants to be like heat and just ascend. Our angst of being too small, too insignificant in the face of dauntingly grand challenges. With it rises the resignation that there's nothing we can do until it becomes thin smoke and eventually vanishes into insignificance. The assumption that this is our house wants to turn into ashes as the humility of knowing that the house does not belong to us even though this is our home is sparking. They say the house is on fire and perhaps if we can bear to stop and stare into the fire for just an instant we will recognize it. We will realize it is the fire of our collective state of brokenness. And perhaps there's something ceremonial about the fire, the kind of fire that calls us to sit around a circle and exchange the gift of our stories. Our stories of trauma and injustice and genocide and anger and erasure, stories of denial and guilt and complicity and paralysis, stories of grief and fear and overwhelm, but also our stories of solidarity and survival, resistance and reciprocity, stories of hope. This kind of fire is not extinguished by buckets of water tossed at it in haste, rather by gently pouring into it what each of us around the circle is ready to let go of. The house is on fire, they say. It is not a drill. So I carefully pour the illusion that climate change only needs the work of our minds and our hands but not our hearts into the fire and I hand the empty container over to you. What are you ready to pour into the fire?